Welcome back to my channel, Melanade Beauty, where I show you the ins and outs of my interior design style and home decor projects. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I transformed this old dresser into this beautiful, elegant, vintage masterpiece. We also showing you a DIY chalk paint recipe, as well as a raised stencil technique. It is my first time doing these type of techniques, but I had so much fun creating this piece. It is so far my best work I've done. So if you want to see more, keep on watching. So I actually found this dresser on Facebook Marketplace. Someone had listed it for free. And as you can see, it's a little bit beat up and it's definitely vintage. The structural foundation of the wood is dovetailed, which is a sign of antique furniture. Even with its old age, it was still in good, solid condition. It just needed a huge makeover. So I started by removing the hardware so I could give the dresser a deep cleaning. I then used a scraper and a hammer to chisel off the front wood pieces. Unfortunately, other pieces were missing, so I wasn't able to keep that design. After that, I gave it a good sanding with a sanding block. And I didn't use an electrical sander because I knew I was going to be using chalk paint and I didn't think it really needed it. I also vacuumed out all of the drawers to make sure any debris didn't interfere with my painting. Okay, so I'm going to be using some latex paint that I got from Walmart in blue, gray, flat, and some plaster of Paris to make my own chalk paint. Of course, this recipe is no secret. A lot of people have been doing this, making their own homemade DIY chalk paint. We're gonna be using this recipe. We're gonna need a half cup of plaster of Paris to two cups of paint. So I'm going to measure that and I'm going to be using this measuring cup and I'm going to mix it in a mason jar with a marble to make sure all of that is mixed and incorporated well. I decided with this piece I was going to use a brush roller set and I'm glad I did. It, the application was really smooth and it was very easy to work with.
Once I finished the drawers, I moved on to the sides of the dresser. Overall, I applied three coats of paint. I then used a bristle brush to work in all the crevices of the dresser. I also used this light blue chalk paint to dry brush some of the crevices and corners of the dresser. Then came the tricky part. I didn't realize that the plaster of Paris dried up so quickly, so I learned my lesson to make very small batches and work with each stencil one at a time. So I just mixed some water and the plaster of Paris until I created almost a peanut butter consistency. And then I added my color and I alternated back and forth between each color when stenciling the design. I slightly overlaid the colors to give it a blended ombre effect. I spray painted the knobs off camera in a metallic gold finish and now I'm going to be placing them back on the drawers. So I'll be sealing the knobs and the dresser at the same time. But before I seal, I'm going to be adding this last final touch of this gorgeous metallic gold paint. This stuff was literally the best thing for this dresser. It actually looks like liquid gold and it's in the 24 karat gold. I got this from Michaels. I'll leave in the description box below where I got everything. So I'm just gonna be adding this where I definitely want the dresser to pop, like the middle part of the knobs and the high parts of the stencil that's more raised. So after I applied the polycrylic to my piece, I then realized I should have shellacked my dark wood 
dresser, which is why it started to peek through some yellowing and my paint started to crack. But I easily fixed it by blending the light blue paint in the middle to add some highlight. And by doing that, it actually made my piece turn out better than I thought. So it all turned out in the end. And here are the finished results of this gorgeous dresser. You have to show me. so much for watching if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and also if you want to see more furniture flips like this one leave a comment below please subscribe to my channel I post videos like this at least once a week so turn on those notifications and I'll see you next time bye